Was he political? Well, <clears throat> very good question. At heart, I think, you know, Mr. T was more to the left. Mm -hmm. um, although, because as a businessman, uh, he was very efficient, so he knew everybody. Uh, so, you, I mean, if you look at the Ghanaian political spectrum, the NDC is on the left. Mm -hmm. So he was more of a radical, you know. You wouldn't say, no, I don't like the word rad radical. He loved changes. Mm -hmm. He loved new things, you know. And so he was a bit more to the left. But as I said, he was a very balanced person. And so he had friends across uh, because, you know, the property owning one was the NPP. So most people wonder, ah, but he was, you're a businessman. Why are you? So he just stood in the middle as much as he could. Mm. But at heart, I think he was more to the it's left. It's only a story once about when he was growing up in Usuen. The, his knowledge of Sonio Dampton, mm. who was one of the grand fathers, uh, founding fathers of the UP tradition. He lived in Osu. There's a house in Osu near the Presbyterian Moderator's house. And he was telling me that that's how it used to be Sonio Dampton's house. And as children, uh, Sonio Dampton's uh, house on Sunday uh, had the visitors of the important people. And they will sit as children far away. Very, you have to be very far away. And they will tell you that's J.B. Dankwa climbing the stairs. Exactly. That's William yeah. Oforiata. And, <laughs> and that's how he saw all those big, big yeah. people. And yeah. he, he spoke in Ghana a lot. He said, me agua, we come back. <laughs> 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 he, he was just a very yeah. proud... So, so I think he grew up with a bit of political yeah. sense and awareness. Yeah. And a very proud African, mm. you know, I must be honest with you. And he performed to the best of his ability. So uh, I think he was, he was concerned about how we become a bit too strident, mm -hmm. you know, now. But when partisan politics started, he thought it was good for the country. But when we, you know, over the last couple of years, he was not too happy about the stridency of our politics because mm -hmm. he felt that politics should not divide us to the extent where we can't talk. Mm -hmm. We can debate, we can discuss, and have different ways of getting to a destination, but ultimately we must all support to get there. And that's why, you know, when he was ending, he wasn't too much into, uh, mm -hmm. but as I said, right. Well, why, did, why did the family go to President Mahama? You were there with them. Yeah, I mean, well, as I said, he knew all these people. He had worked with all of them. And we went to the current president as well. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't join him. I wasn't there with them. They went to a tomb for as well, who was a very good friend of his, or Chihini as well. I mean, he knew everybody, as you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for the sake of tradition, you had to go and inform these uh, elder, the elder statesmen and even President Kufur as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and these were very close friends of his that he had passed away. Uh, he, so he died out of Ghana, outside Ghana. What yes, in Togo. You know, it's a very strange thing. I had spoken to him uh, two weeks earlier. We're planning certain things. And indeed, I visited uh, Fadi Fatal, you know, Fadi. Oh, yeah, and Fadi. there were a few problems that Fadi wanted me to talk about. So the Friday, I called him. He was in his way to Togo. I, I left. I didn't even know that he was on his way to Togo. So I called and he didn't pick. And then Saturday passed because I was, hopefully I was built to catch him up on Monday. And then on Sunday, uh, after church, somebody picked up a call and then he said, Mr. Togo Mensa appeared in the conversation. So when the conversation and then I said, oh, I have to see Mr. T. How do you know Mr. T? Then so he's passed away. Paul, I was shocked. I didn't just even want to believe it. Uh, so I made phone calls and nobody was picking. So I realized there was a bit of a problem. Uh, later, I called Akita, who is one of uh, the, you know, the, direct, the managers for TNT Properties, because one of our uh, you know, property uh, companies. And he, he confirmed he had also had it. So we got the confirmation on Monday. But... Uh, the talk was that he was having a project in Togo. He went there. In fact, he's got an Accra house. He has his own house in Togo, built. We used to go there. In fact, from Togo, we visited Benin. And yes, I went with him on all those West African tours. We've been to Cote d'Ivoire and all of that. And we had branches in Liberia, Gambia. We had companies all over the place and affiliates all mm. over the continent. So I think he went to Togo. He was doing a project. They went there, finished the project. I think it was in the evening, and he was returning with the boys. And then in the car, he started, he picked the call, spoke for about 40 minutes, and then he started coughing. You know, so uh, the coughing was getting bad. So they said, oh, can we find a clinic? Uh, and before you could say, Jack, when the doctor came in to examine him, he said he, he was gone. And it, honestly, it was a big, big shock to everybody. Um, I have never seen Mr. T sick. I don't know one time when he got ill for some time, but he's not the sort of person who will lie down, you know. So uh, it was a huge, huge shock to all of us. Uh, at 73, I oh, was 73. Yep, I thought he was going to go, you know, 80, 84, and there because his mummy grew 
old and the dad was also an old person. But the good thing is that he left a great family. You know Obushi? Yes, yes. You know, yes. Obushi came to me, you know, at the faculty, she was one of the brightest students, at the first class. Mrs. was one of Mrs. Mensa Bones's darlings, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, she went to the in US England. to have to do her masters. She now works in, with her yep, in England. She's in town. I was supposed to have come with her, yeah. you know. And, and I, think yeah, I saw her in the photographs yeah. of President Mohammed. I think uh, Mr. House. T has done a fantastic job with the children as well. So mm -hmm. we can, he's left a great legacy. When is the funeral though? Tomorrow. Um, oh, tomorrow? I think now, yeah. They have State's little, house? Yep. Yeah, they're now having a little keep, we're keeping, family we're keeping uh, in Tema in his house. Uh, now. Tomorrow, yeah, now. Okay. It's happening now. In fact, that's why they're not able to be here. Yeah. I tried to drug them, but it was very difficult. Okay. So, um, but there's a pre-burial from 7 to 9 and then the burial... Seven to nine at the state house. At the state house. Four then, yes, the four. And they will have the body. The, yeah, the body will be there for everybody to go around and see. And then uh, from nine to eleven will be the funeral service itself. It's been done by ethereal uh, church. I mean, one of these churches that he belonged to. Okay. I, you know, I mean, he was a very spiritual person, as you know. Mm -hmm. You know, he believed in uh, spirituality. He was uh, very much uh, eclectic when mm -hmm. it comes to. Uh, you know, religion, yeah. yeah. So he was. He will always ask you that. Well, yep. well, how do you connect to God? He does that. He does yep. that. Very much a spiritual person. And I think we've lost a great person.